Welcome to I Just Have Something to Say. My name is George. I'm a first-generation Hispanic American and U.S. Army veteran, former paramedic firefighter, and concealed weapons carrier for over 20 years. We discuss how to make things better in the area of crime and crime prevention, the Second Amendment, and police accountability. But before we dive into this video, I'd like to ask for your help in making this channel grow by giving us a like, subscribe, and by sharing this video. Today we're going to be reviewing a video out of Houston, Texas of an aggravated robbery of a sharelift driver. We're going to speak a little bit about what could be done in these situations, if anything, and the futility of the left's attempts at gun control when they refuse to hold violent criminals accountable for their actions. But before we dive into this video, I want you to be aware there is language and this is a violent robbery. Let's dive into this. Now in this video, it doesn't state whether or not the driver was uh, carrying a concealed weapon at his right hip at the three o'clock position. Does he sure do reach for it? Like, like he, they were preventing him from reaching for a gun. I am not a fan whatsoever of appendix carry. And in fact, I'm, I'm working on making a video on how dangerous appendix carry is, but maybe carrying in a cross draw or even in a fanny pack may be the safer way to go, especially in a moment of great stress when you're being attacked. And if you look at these two, they look like to be teenagers. So how many laws are they violating? And they probably have rap sheets longer than the CVS receipt. The fact that they have an extended magazine on that Springfield XD means that, in my opinion, not alone should they do time for the aggravated robbery, they should do federal time for the gun possession, and they should do additional times for having the extended high-capacity magazine. And the reason why I call it a high-capacity magazine is because it extends the normal capacity of that weapon. So, for example, if that was a Glock 19, the standard capacity magazine for it is 15. But if you put in that 30 round magazine in there and commit a violent act with it, you should get special enhancements because you did put a high capacity magazine to enhance the lethality of that weapon in the commission of a violent crime. Don't mess with my magazines, Mr. Liberal, Mr. Good Intention Gun Controller. You want to limit me to 10 rounds, but these lunatics are running around out there and they don't care about your laws. The laws that you want to enforce only apply to the law abiding. You never want to talk about violent criminal actors when they do this kind of nonsense. And in fact, if anything, you want to let them go, give them a pat on the butt and give them some milk and cookies with the promise that they won't do it again. Oh. We're going to the other side, nigga. <laughs> Now, if I was a driver for one of these shared services, I would be very, very leery about picking anybody up, especially when they're young, they look healthy, they have hoodies and masks, and especially if they have gloves, because that just are all indicators that you're going to get robbed. There's no reason for a young, healthy person at this point in the game to be wearing masks and gloves. As you're driving, the mask starts coming on. That is definitely an indicator you're about to get robbed.
If you have any information about this robbery or recognize these two individuals, I'm going to leave the information to contact the Houston Police Department in the description box below. But this really does show you that gun control only impacts good law-abiding citizens. Criminal violent actors do not care in any way, shape, or form about gun control. They will do whatever they feel necessary to do what they want to do. At the end of the day, the only thing that I can recommend in this situation is to be as compliant as possible and get out of the car as fast as possible and get to safety. Any act to try to defend yourself when you have a gun at your throat is just going to result in you getting killed. Be safe. Make sure to carry safely and legally and always be ready to defend yourself and those that you love. Thank you for visiting. Please like and subscribe and share this video.